In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to add inventory items to Commander. So to add your inventory to the system you're going to want to go to the items section. I can get to the items here on my favorites bar. I can go to the maintain tab and it's this little nut and bolt here or I can go maintain inventory items. All of these will take you to the same place. In this look for bar up here in the top, we can actually go ahead and either type in or use a barcode scanner to scan in an item. And of course, assuming that this is a price file item, that's going to display the details of that part number just below this black bar in the general tab of the program. The part number, the UPC code typically, the description, the cost, and the retail price will already be loaded because you have a price book for that supplier loaded. In this case, it's a repower kit. All I really need to do here is enter my stock. I'm going to go ahead and put in two. And I'll go ahead and enter my bin location of, let's say, A-9 for a row and a shelf. I can then hit the Save key in the top left-hand corner there. Or I can use that function key F2 to save that part information. You will notice that Commander stores inventory in what we call categories. These are these yellow folders on the side here. Each of your OEMs or distributors is going to be assigned or grouped together in a category. Uh, these categories can be created if you need new ones simply by right-clicking on all categories and going New Category. And that's a way that you can create one of those folders in the system. But typically, if there's a price file available for that vendor, you'll want to contact us and have that loaded into the system. If I was adding a part and I was, let's say, in the Articat folder here, and I entered or scanned in the part number up here at the top, and I was in the wrong category, I'm specifically searching in Articat now for that particular part number, and it happens to be a Briggs part. So if I were to click on the Briggs folder, that, of course, would find the item. Uh, or I can click here on all categories, which causes the system to do a downward search down through all the categories that you have loaded into Commander. We have the ability to search for the items by uh, inventory only, price files, or to do both, and also to search by the item number or by the description, depending on how you choose to look for the part. Once the item has been added to Commander, you can also right-click on the item here and print yourself a barcode label, either a single label or the on-hand quantity, which in this case would be two. And that's an easy way for you to get your barcode labels generated as you're adding inventory if you need to print labels. Anytime you need to run a listing of the parts that you've added to the system just to see what their valuation might be, you can run a report. Go to the green tab here, which is Inventory. Put an inventory cost, select that report, and run a report for inventory that has an on-hand quantity greater than zero. That's going to give you everything that has at least one or more on the shelf. You can view that report, and very quickly, Commander will pull a listing to the screen where you'll be able to see your part count for each supplier and the extended value of the inventory for each supplier.